get this question all the time from you guys. You want to be able to record from your webcam or capture that video from your device in Ubuntu. And I've messed around with a few different options, whether it be in the terminal or cheese, which is a program, as well as a delicious snack. But I have found something that I'm going to try my first review with on Ubuntu for you guys. And it's called GUVC Viewer. GUVC Viewer is available in the Ubuntu Software Center and most other packet managers. As you know, acronyms always mean something in the Linux world, and in this case, G is GTK and UVC is the USB video class, which means it basically captures all of the information, video, still photos, from the USB devices you have. So camcorders, still cameras, and in this case, webcams. How's it hanging, guys? I'm going to flip myself right side up so all the blood doesn't rush to my head and continue talking with you a bit about GUVC Viewer. This is a capture that you're watching right now. It's 640 by 360, so that's kind of a low resolution but still widescreen format. It's great for YouTube and a lot of your standard, a couple year old webcams will be able to handle it just fine. As my computer's handling it at 30 frames per second, um, this is important it's all dependent on three things to get a good capture you want to have a decent camera that can handle it you want to have uh, processing power which is pretty significant in order to get those frames per second um, kill all the applications in the background that'll help and decent lighting if you're you know recording in pitch blackness you're not going to get the frames per second that you want so speaking of good frames per second let's see how GUVC viewer handles uh, higher resolutions. Okay, now we're in HD. Um, as you can see, the program's not really having it. It can't get over 10 frames per second. I've turned all of the uh, auto exposure levels and the brightness levels down, and uh, it's just my voice is completely out of sync, and it's a little bit pixelated. I'll talk to you a little bit more about how you can improve it, um, but right now I just want to show the autofocus how well that works. It seems to be working pretty well. Okay, and then I come back into focus. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to do it, so that's pretty good. Uh, the camera's talking to the uh, GUVC viewer application pretty well there. Just a tip, in order to avoid fluctuating frame rates, you want to make sure you select every time shutter priority mode. And here is the variety of different codecs and containers that you can render the video in. So I'm back at the lower resolution, 640 by 360 at 30 frames per second, and I'm totally content with that. I know that my eyes can't really discern the difference if I'm not doing crazy action shots. 30 frames per second is totally sufficient. As far as wanting that HD quality and that high frame rate, I don't think currently with our webcam technology, the data transfer cable of the USB 2.0, I don't think we can do it. If that's what you're looking for, go on over for 150 bucks. You can get a flip camera, just record it. Um, you know, then you don't have all the features that you do with a application like GUVC Viewer. Um, make yourself even more pixelated, and do various other things like uh, adjust the um, the brightness and the various sliders, um, but that might be something you're looking for. Having been on the vlogosphere for several years now, I've tried tons of proprietary and paid software, and honestly, GUVC Viewer takes the cake. I mean, I can force frame rates with it, I can do editing while I'm recording with it, uh, saturation, all that good stuff. I can take pictures. It's everything I really want in a capture program, and I've done no better with frame rate on proprietary software than I have with GUVC Viewer. I know you guys will be really excited about it, so go ahead and download it as soon as possible. Talk to you guys later. Bye!